Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets from uh, the uh, end of day session, Monday, 25th of July, 2016. Please do visit TradeSignal for signals and market updates from leading providers, w.tradesignal.com, and you can download the uh, app on the Google Play and the, and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the uh, market uh, close, uh, let's look at the actual figures here, folks. Okay, so let's bring this up. Uh, in terms of the economic data points now uh, uh, the FTSE 100 finished negative after the uh, CBI data release on the manufacturing uh, data certainly uh, came out negative given the fact that uh, it was post Brexit given the fact that uh, weak economic data on Friday certainly triggered a rally in the FTSE on the back of expectations of more QE and today we had the exact opposite result which is kind of strange okay again it, the market doesn't necessarily know which, what, which way it wants to go bad news is good news or good news is bad news i mean i've got no idea okay again it certainly is a um it's a very temperamental market let's let's just say that for now okay uh, the german dax uh, finished positive in the back of that strong ifo data okay french uh, uh, cac and uh, the uh, european indices which is such as euro stock certainly finished positive as well uh, in terms of asian markets we already know the certainly nikkei was finished down uh, whilst shanghai certainly finished flat but the hang seng was certainly higher Okay, now in terms of uh, market uh, movements or reports, economic data today, I think we already know a stronger German IFO. Uh, Chinese, Japanese data certainly was mixed overnight, and the CBI Industrial Trend Survey certainly painted painted a very bleak and very negative picture of the UK economy, and that's why it was hurt there in the aftermath. Now, in terms of uh, the technical picture, let's just bring up the technical picture for you, German DAX. I did explain to you during the day as well, the German DAX was into its gap fill. This is a, the post-Brexit gap fill. Okay, so that certainly has held as resistance and is now a topping tail. On the 60-minute chart, German DAX, you are now uh, on the verge of potentially breaking out the or breaking the concept of higher highs and higher lows from my perspective. I'm certainly expecting that gap to hold, okay, and uh, act as a potential catalyst for reversal. Uh, yes, you do have this diagonal trend line, so again, be aware of that. Once we break that, you are looking at potential support at 10.080, and then obviously gap fill support at 9.980 as well. So again, for now, it's all about exercising caution, and then uh, and then obviously seeing how this market responds. So that's basically what we're looking at at present. Again, 10.260 is your double top resistance if we do uh, uh, move higher and we retrace again we've held previous resistance equal support and we've certainly bounced subsequently okay certainly seeing that bounce at the moment okay in terms of the market itself okay so again if the market does break below the key 10 170 zone then you are looking at support at uh, 10 130 on the german dax then you have support down below around the 10 0 90 zone in terms of the German DAX, if we do break this key level that we can see here, uh, previous support equals resistance. We, sorry, if we do retest that level around the 10220 zone, again looking for risk aversion and looking for the market to move lower. That's my interpretation. Okay, my current trade at the moment is a short Nasdaq. So that's what I'm looking for, looking for a move lower on the actual Nasdaq itself. Okay, now the uh, actual European indices. Let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Okay, so we have the French CAC, daily chart, the French CAC at the moment. Again, topping tail, doji candle, indicating resistance. Hence the reason why I shorted the market or shorted the CAC towards the close. Uh, you are looking at a potential HNS formation for now. So there's your left shoulder. Oops, there's your wrong one. Okay, so looking at your left shoulder here, brewing, looking for your head. Okay, then now looking for a flush from my perspective and potentially set up a HNS. But again, it's all hypothetical for now. Uh, I'm looking for a higher highs and higher lows to certainly come to an end and then looking for potential gap fill support below. Okay. The French CAC certainly uh, carving out a HNS formation on the 10 minute chart, as you can clearly see here, folks. Okay. So again, it's all about the right shoulder and obviously looking for a flush. Now, the uh, actual HNS formation for your, um, well, just for your reference again. You have a pivot high of 4420, let's just say, make it easy. So HNS equals 4420 minus, just look at your neckline. Your neckline is around 4370, looking for a 50 point drop. So you're looking for 4320, okay? So again, looking for 4320 on the downside in terms of the actual the CAC itself. So certainly a bearish pattern on the CAC and looking for a move lower, and that accompanied with the German DAX into resistance. Again, looking for a move lower. Bringing up the FTSE 100. Now, the daily chart, the FTSE, you can clearly see we had a doji. Uh, topping tail certainly has held on the daily chart. 
60 minute chart we had a topping tail this morning a 60 minute came about nine o'clock market rejected the rally straight away okay uh, even given the fact that the asian markets were lackluster okay and again it certainly seems that we want to go low and test the uh, pivot support at 6660 and then obviously you're looking at 6625 below the 10 minute chart clearly has a hns formation the hns formation target was i did explain this setup to you during the day as well uh nine uh, six seven five five minus the neckline which is um six seven twenty okay so you're looking at 20 point move 25 point move so six seven twenty and you're looking for uh, to 35 points between that okay so you're looking at six six eight five uh, on the downside so again looking for six six eight five six six eight five six six seven years support we did hit a pivot low of six six ninety any pullback again is a shortening opportunity from my perspective okay so again full seal remains weak bring up the chart the euro stocks now the last uh, indices that's quite important for my own from my uh, perspective as always okay oh so there's the wrong one again oh yeah we got the right one okay so again we're going to the daily chart certainly a topping tail at that key horizontal resistance zone okay so looking for risk aversion 60 minutes chart at the moment again looking for a breakdown on the back of uh, higher highs and higher lows so looking for a lower high now and the 10 minute chart certainly clearly uh, clarifies that again very similar to the other pattern okay so again you're looking for a hns formation here uh, again it's all about the right shoulder so you're looking at resistance at 2980 up to uh, 2990 and again both indicating a move lower so again looking for risk aversion looking for the markets to reject risk and looking for a sell-off in the marketplace okay that's the situation that we find ourselves in at present okay so again my bias remains bearish especially given the fact that oil prices are breaking lower uh, strong ifo data fails to uh, uh prevent that and obviously weaker uk data certainly exacerbated that so again chinese data are overnight relatively in the weak side so again indicating resistance so a weakness shall we say and the qe from boj failing to uh, really propel these markets high now given the qe from the boj given the fact that everything's linked to the usd jpy if you bring up the chart usd jpy on the four hour you clearly see that you have hns formation so it certainly seems to have run its course okay and daily chart has a bearish engulfing candle so the usd jpy trade certainly is over for now and that's why you're going to see resistance or so weakness in the equity markets as well from my understanding again my understanding can be wrong folks now i will stop out overnight on my footsie and nasdaq trades from friday night shorts okay well subsequently i made profit on the uh, the euro usd on the cac so certainly we're making a put comeback and a pullback so for now uh, my bias is short i'm short the nasdaq that's my current trade looking for weaker price action lower okay so my bias so my analysis is indicating a move lower okay that's uh, that's uh, sufficient for now uh, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs okay they are the um, provide and certainly take advantage of the 25% uh, bonus that's available as well uh, that's the uh, broker that i trade with okay cfds.com and uh, if you are interested in a 25% bonus, just send me an email. I'll get that applied for you. Okay, goodbye now.